Y'all not offset side piece exposing Cardi B for allegedly bullying and trying to jump her. It turns out that Offset's side piece, well, the latest one, Pre, is allegedly still pregnant with Offset's child. And if y'all remember, there was some messy drama a couple of weeks ago when Pre's friend exposed her affair with Offset and claimed that Offset allegedly forced Pre to get rid of the baby. Well, Pre is now claiming that she didn't go through with determination and is still carrying Offset's child. She also claimed that Cardi is furious over her refusing to get a termination and has been trying to get Pre to get jumped by some goons. So does this mean that we're gonna have another Cardi B versus Jade situation? And is Offset still messing around with Pre? At this point, I think we can all agree that Offset and his side pieces will always be a continuous source of embarrassment and humiliation for Cardi. However, it looks like it's going to be a source of legal troubles too, because Cardi might just be in some more trouble. Y'all remember a couple of years ago when Offset cheated on Cardi with a bartender named Jada, right? Cardi found out about the affair and she went off. And by going off, I mean that she hired goons to put hands on Jade and her sister. And this got Cardi in a world of trouble and she came this close to going to prison over this charge. Y'all going to prison because of your husband's side piece is nasty business, but Cardi was luckily able to get off with just community service. The embarrassing part is that Offset didn't stop messing with Jade and they kept hooking up behind Cardi's back. Rumor has it that Cardi was very hurt over this and she came this is close to divorcing Offset over it, which would have made him broke as F. According to an insider, Cardi made most of the money for the family. She's all about saving and investing. Offset is about spending wildly. So while they both made a lot of money during the marriage, most of the money they have now is Cardi's. And by most, I mean like 95% of it. And it's not just money that Cardi has, it's real estate. They own a home in Atlanta where Cardi and the children stay. And they have a home in New Jersey where Cardi's mother stays. She's getting both of those homes. Without Cardi's money, Offset is nowhere near as wealthy as he portrays. That man spends money like water. He's not even hot like that anymore. Watch what his life ends up looking like without Cardi. Well, it looks like the threat of being broke may Offset fix up immediately, and it looks like he dropped Jade after that. But just because he broke up with Jade doesn't mean that he was no longer cheating, because he then stated that he was dating another woman named Pre. Y'all remember when last year Cardi read him for filth on social media? Cause you will fucking talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over and over and over and over again, and she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to, yo, really like to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time, when, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, like to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been feeling yourself, nigga, because of your album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so fucking years that I'm up your ass. Not even a fucking thank you that I got for your And it's so crazy that I gotta go to the fucking internet because whenever I tell you something, you don't take it seriously. And I'm so tired of it. I'm fucking tired of this. She also tweeted, Offset, right now you being a B man, and trust me, I'm gonna have to take it there. MFs will try you at your lowest and your most vulnerable time. You out here feeling yourself, but trust me, the tables turn. It turned out that she had allegedly found out about Offset and Pre, and she was understandably hurt about it. But things got better, and Cardi claimed that she went to therapy to fix things, and they were on good terms again. Until a couple of weeks ago, when Pre's friend Blue came out to claim that Offset was still messing with Pre. But not just that, but Blue claimed that Offset had gotten Pre pregnant and allegedly paid her $15,000 to get rid of it. Blue said, to post my address was a low blow, but I got a lower blow for you because this is all over Cardi husband. She also said, this is all because a married man getting pre-pregnant and making her get a termination for chump change and her telling everybody and them assuming it was me telling everyone, but really it was the B who got the termination who was telling everyone. I don't care about nothing no more because you running around telling my address, but really can't keep their personal business about a married man to their self. She then shared a screenshot of a message from Pre who said, blocked while you type in. You got a bigger fish to fry. Didn't you violate an NDA or something? But Blue was not having this as she hit back saying, you thought you would jug at me because an NDA? Pre, you're weird. 
You thought I ever gave a F? Y'all been trolling me since March and he's messy. He went back and told you that I'm on an NDA and you texted me my first and last name. Nobody knew I was on one but Buddy, me, and Morgs. According to Blue, he allegedly paid Pre $15,000 to get a termination. He then allegedly paid Blue $15,000 to keep her mouth shut about the whole thing. But then he allegedly got their friend Kayla to jump her. Blue posted receipts and wrote, Buddy offered me 15 k to not tell nothing. I kept it solid. This was March 6th, the same day and night that Kayla Kayla walked up to me, randomly trying to jump me. She also shared screenshots of texts between her and Offset, where Offset appeared to threaten her for telling Cardi about him paying pre to get a termination. Offset said, B gon' learn nothing get past me. You a liar. You the one behind all this BS. You keep telling her lies about me. Blue wrote, Buddy text me this as I'm walking out of Cabo. Like you sent this B Kayla to fight me, thinking I told Cardi after you done wired me, or morgues, cause I ain't told a soul. Y'all, this was messy and high key embarrassing. Not only did Offset pay pre $15,000, but he also paid Blue $15,000 to keep her mouth shut. Then he got paranoid that Blue was going to run her mouth, so he tried to get her jumped as well. Y'all, this was a very messy situation, but I don't think that anybody was surprised that Cardi didn't leave him. Instead, she called us brokies and told us to mind our business and stop focusing on our marriage. Carter, in the industry, and in every genre, harder than a female rapper. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because you have to have the best verses. You gotta have the best verses. And not only that, you gotta kill the charts. And then on top of that, your personal life gotta be perfect. Or then the odd bitches is gonna use that against you. <laughs> oh, your husband, your husband, shut up. I made more money than all my niggas. Like I said, it wasn't even surprising given Cardi's history of blindly defending Offset whenever he cheated in the past. She has defended him more than enough times saying stuff like, it's like everybody's coming down my neck like, why are you not leaving him? I'm rich and I know I'm talented. I know I could get any man I want, but I want to work out my issues with my man and I don't gotta explain why. This is my life, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to decide on my decision. It's not right what he did, but people don't know what I did cause I ain't no angel. There's also this time that she said, well, if people are talking about it and keep asking me how I feel about the situation, why not let them know, right or wrong? No, it's not right for a man to cheat, but what do you want me to do? Go sleep with another man? Start all over again and get cheated on again? This stuff happens to everyone and it could be you too. People handle their relationship different, so. Now with all this, you'd think that Cardi would make a change and make peace with her situation, right? Well, not exactly. See, sources are claiming that Pre didn't really get rid of the pregnancy and she is still pregnant. Cardi also appears to be pregnant herself and it looks like this allegedly set her off because according to Pre, Cardi has allegedly been bullying her and sending people after her. While Pre could be making this stuff up, Cardi does have a history of going after Offset side pieces like how she did with Jade. Y'all, Jade's sister even got beat up even though she had nothing to do with it. But let's not forget about Cuban Dolls claims about how Cardi bullied her after she found out that Offset wanted to do the nasty with Cuban and her friend. Cuban tweeted, I pray a man don't marry me just to cheat on me. That's next level of disrespect. Girl, shut up. We never had a problem until you dry tweeted that stuff about me. Me and you ain't been cool since Offset was trying to sleep with me. But Pri is now claiming victim, claiming that Cardi has been allegedly putting pressure on her to get a termination, even after Pri said no. She also claimed that Cardi has allegedly been trying to get her jumped as a scare tactic. Y'all, this is a hot mess, but the fans are definitely tweeting, saying stuff like, I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling sorry for Cardi this time. Whenever her fans point this ish out about Offset, she quickly jumps on defend mode, looking dumb and knocked up pregnant again. It's not healthy at this point, and it's not fair on the kids. Cardi's too good of a woman, I'm sorry. The fact that she went live and blacked on Bia for spreading fake cheating allegations on her, and Offset out here getting Bia's pregnant? And the way Offset just constantly cheats on Cardi to the point where he even got someone pregnant and she continues to stay with him is insane. I should have known this marriage was never going to be good when they got married in a hotel room in sweats. Y'all, this situation is a crazy mess, but drop your thoughts and comments below and then check out this next video.